Hello. Well, uh, I'm now talking to Mustafa El Kumi, who's the CEO and co-founder of VX Labs. Mustafa, hello. Hello. So, Mustafa, uh, just tell me a little bit about VX Labs first. Of course. So VX Labs is a future-focused supplier of embedded solutions for the automotive industry. We help tier ones and OEM to achieve, uh, like building their ECUs uh, in uh, by security by design. So our focus is in security. We also like help OEMs for detections the future threats of inside their vehicle and provide autonomous actions based on that threats. So our sensors like lie inside the whole vehicle from gateways up to infotainment and telematics issue. Okay. Also some parts of our system lie in the back end of the OEM itself for collecting this aggregated data from the vehicles. Excellent. And now on the panel, I think we have we had uh, representatives from uh, car manufacturer, from uh, uh, connectivity uh, association, 5GAA, and, um, and also aggregator. So, some of the issues raised around security, what, what did you think? I mean, what were, your, what, what were your thoughts on that? I think I would use the same uh, word of Johannes from 5GAA. Whenever there's a new connectivity, it is a risk, security risk for that. That's why we have to be prepared for that by detecting the threats which can occur from this uh, uh, like connection itself, how to trust the data which is transferred from one place to other place, and how also to be focused on make sure that this data is authentic, there's no one in between have like have or altered this data. And one of the, the things that was raised, I think, around data sharing, and you know, there are so many issues we're here in Europe. Uh, so, I mean, there is the car manufacturers, which are basically trying to do their closed uh, systems to provide services, or there's the data aggregators. And I think one of the issues was you can't scale up uh, if you're just within a closed system, so you need the data aggregators. You had some... Uh, uh, Thoughts about that? Of course. One of the missing regulations here in, in EU is uh, uh, who owns the data. It's called data governance. Uh, so OEMs cannot claim that they own the whole data which come up of, of the vehicles because some of them are lead to the tier ones and some also lead to the driver. That's why in order to scale, there should be a regulations done by the EU at, uh, at first place in order to make sure that they can share this data safely in order to scale up a lot of services and applications for the future vehicles. And, and one of the other things I think they, they talked about uh, is there's already um, regu reg regulations in place or agreements for um, prioritization of data, whether it's for safety, whether it's for infotainment. I think that was one of the sort of topics that was discussed. Yeah, we were talking for that about like the bandwidth which is used for connectivity. And I was raising the question to 5GAA uh, like about how can we make sure that the bandwidth are used in an efficient way. And this uh, having a lot of applications in entertainment like streaming applications for video for audio and things like this this is data hunger applications and we need the, some layer of uh, monetization of this data like like to prioritize the data flow and the usage of these bandwidths for safety critical applications cyber security management and so on and then the layer of uh, like infotainment or the layer of entertainment come afterwards but unfortunately we don't have that right now and what, what, uh, more generally um, what are you seeing amongst your your customers or your uh, partners uh, on the key issues right now in connected car security the idea that everyone is trying to build his own wallet right now. There is no regulations and standards that control all of this. For that, we had each project as a, con as a continued news story for an OEM. Like he need to build his uh, orchestration by somehow the flow of information and data for inside the car is look different and the uses for differentiation. However, I see this is going to be a problem in the future for scaling up, mm. as you just Mike, mentioned. And I think uh, just before we go, I think one of the stats you raised uh, in the panel was about um, the, uh, how many attacks come via infotainment systems and, and yeah, others. And I think you quoted a, something like 40 percent, uh, not from the infotainment, was it 40 or 14 and 40 percent from? Uh, there is 40 percent just like from electric vehicle charging unit and 14 percent from the infotainment issue as, as it is. So it is, um, I think everything has its vulnerability and it is like there is a rationale between time to market and invest more time for protecting this issues. That's why it is always like uh, OTA comes to the place in order to uh, patch the software 
in the field in order to close these gaps. And I think this is a continuous operation for the OEMs to take care of. Well, Mustafa, thank you very much. Thank you so much.